Weekend Sunrise money man Scotty Phillips is here. Morning to you, Scotty. Well, the RBA kept rates on hold. Mm-hmm. That was expected, wasn't it? No great surprise. But the strategy behind their decision, they've talked about. Yes, yeah, so this is a hard one, right? We, no one wants to pay more at the petrol pump or at the grocery shop. You don't want to pay more for things, but the RBA knows we need a little bit of inflation just to keep the economy ticking over. If you don't have any, you're going to wait till prices fall before you buy your new car or your house or your stereo or your computer. So you need a little bit of inflation just to put some energy and effort back into the economy. They're desperately hoping that comes, along with wage rises, by the way. So not just paying more, they want us to be paid more as well. Until those two things happen, rates are going to stay low and possibly as late as 2024 still. Really? Wow. Okay. now according to the Reserve Bank, Australia looks set to experience an economic lost year due to the pandemic, but still we're doing better than so much of the world. Yeah, it's one of those nice problems to have. Look, we never choose the pandemic, of course, obviously the health impacts, all the economic impacts. We are back so fast. You mentioned the RBA before. Um, 4.5% is our unemployment forecast for the end of the year. Economic growth of 4 0.75% they're saying. So we're bouncing back really fast. But as you say, we're kind of getting just back to where we were two years ago. 2020, unfortunately, a bit of a write-off in so many many different ways, including economically. Yeah, right. The budget is this week. The Treasurer has already announced a $1.7 billion package for working families utilising childcare. Uh, Of course, they are leaking what they want us to know about, which is that it it really looks like it's going to be a budget for women. What what do we need broadly from this budget? Look, I think what we need is we need support for the economy to continue the recovery we just talked about. You want to make sure we don't fall at that final hurdle. Having done all the work, frankly, spent more than $100 billion. Uh, you want to make sure this works. So they don't need to withdraw the stimulus slowly, methodically and properly. They'll do that. Getting women back into the workforce is fantastic if they want to. Um, early childhood education, we know, is also really important for kids. So that's really positive. But broadly, ongoing support for the economy. But we've got to start paying back the debt as well. So it's a, a, give us a pathway, a, a bit of a guideline as to how we get away from the debt we're in, how we get back to some sort of even keel. And we don't want to leave it to our kids. That's the problem. We, we, don't, we really you know, don't want to do that. Yeah, absolutely. okay. Uh, it takes time in a mm-hmm. couple of months as well. We're covering all the big issues, rates, budget, tax. Uh, <laughs> but apparently the ATO is really clamping down yeah. on expenses that we shouldn't be putting in for. Yeah. I mean, I would have thought they did that every year, but they're particularly looking at working from home. So Look, what, yeah, what the ATO do, you're right, they do the same, the same rules apply almost every year. What they're really saying is, hey, we're going to be looking at this. Don't be tempted to get a little bit too carried away. So think about capital gains, particularly for things like cryptocurrency. A lot of Australians these days own Bitcoin or have been buying and selling. If you make a, a profit, you have to pay capital gains tax on that. Working from home is the big one. If you work from home, you can't claim the Tim Tams. You can't claim the, oh. you know, the, all the stuff you'd like to claim just because you had them at work. Doesn't mean you can have them at home and claim them on tax. Just be a little bit careful. And as always with the ATO, document everything. My general rule with, with taxes, if you're too close to the line, if you don't know where the line is, you're probably too close. Just take a half a step back because you really don't want the tax commissioner knocking on your door. If you don't have an accountant, mm. then how do you know where the line is? How do you know yeah. not to claim for Tim Tams? It's really, really hard. There is no easy answer, Mon. I wish there was, honestly. I mean, the, the rules are there, but, I mean, who's, you know, unless you're a tax accountant, have you looked yeah. at the rules? There's some decent things, like work from home, you can actually claim an hourly rate this year because of the pandemic, right. so you don't have to claim the Tim Tams or the okay. electricity or anything else, but it can be tough. It's really disappointing. I still want to claim the Tim Tams, so you can say, oh, it's, you know, it's a tax <laughs> write-off. Thank you, Scotty. Thanks, As Mon. always, here's Matt.